Louise is going to get the death penalty if I lose this case. No. That can't happen. I love Luis. I can't lose him. You still love Luis? As a friend. Nothing more. Not this again. What, Sheridan? Please don't be like Chris and Fancy, thinking that I'm still in love with Luis because I'm not. I just want to help prove that he's innocent of rape and murder. But given my history with Luis, they think that I'm still out to win him back. Which you want? No, I just want to stand by his side, just like you stood by Teresa's side, even though you were married to Gwen. A lot of good that did my marriage. Well, I'm not going to lose Chris over Luis. Just like Fancy shouldn't worry that she's going to lose Luis over me. Um, if she still wants him back, I don't know. I'm losing track. All right, well, one thing's for sure. Luis is not going to be around to be in anyone's personal life if I don't get the DA to back off on asking for the death penalty if he's convicted. You have to, Ethan. Luis can't die over something that he didn't do. Oh, God, Sheridan. What? Um, the, uh, the DA only asks for the death penalty in two instances. One, when they're absolutely convinced that the person charged is guilty. And number two, when the crimes committed are so heinous that the death penalty seems justifiable. I'm not getting what you're really saying. Luis's immediate concern is that the DA seeking the death penalty sends a signal to cops that Luis is what they detest the most. A fellow officer who betrayed his badge and attacked one of their own. So are you saying a cop would avenge Fancy's rape on their own? Show no mercy, don't it? Oh my God. I think we need to get Luis in protective custody as soon as possible. Because a bad cop could just see him as fair game. Well, I gotta call in to the DA. You know, this wouldn't be happening to Luis if Fancy hadn't turned him in. If she loved him like she says she does, she would have helped him stay on the run like I was doing. Well, it must have been a tough decision for her, Sheridan. I mean, from what I hear, she's trying very hard to become a cop. If she deliberately let Luis go, it could have ruined her career. Yeah. Thinking of herself first as usual. Typical. Fancy tells me that you two aren't exactly getting along lately. No, we're not. I just can't deal with her when she's like this. Like what, exactly? A stark raving lunatic who's gone overboard for Luis. She is whacked, Ethan. Seriously off kilter. So I shouldn't believe Fancy when she says that you're trying to win Luis back? So Fancy's wrong. You're not after Luis. I can't believe you're asking me this. I'm just curious. Sheridan, when I said that Luis was facing the death penalty, you said that you couldn't lose him like a woman who was in love with him. I didn't know my tone was being scrutinized. Sheridan, can you really blame me for asking? No. No, I can't blame you. I blame Fancy because my niece is losing her mind. I'm not after Luis. I'm married to Chris. James is my adoptive son. We are happy together, blissfully happy. And I don't know why Fancy is accusing me of doing these horrible things when I have been nothing but steadfast with Luis. And she has been all over the place. She needs help, Ethan. More help than any of us can give her. Why does she think that you are still in love with Louise? She could convince herself of anything. Remember what she did to Pretty? I'd rather not. Well, you have to. Because if she is capable of doing what she did to Pretty, she is capable of anything. What happened between Fancy and Pretty is ancient history. It's got no bearing on her relationship with you. I disagree. What happened with Pretty just shows what Fancy is capable of. I would hate to think that that was still true. In all these years, have you ever known me to be capable of what Fancy's accusing me of? No. Then do you honestly think I would do something so vile as to use Marty's memory to lure Louise back to me? No, I don't. Then isn't it obvious that I am not the monster that Fancy is making me out to be? You have to know that I'm telling you the truth. You have to. 
I don't want to debate Nancy with you anymore. I just need to find out if the DA is still going to seek the death penalty before I tell the police. Nope. The DA is not going to budge. They're going to seek the death penalty in Luis's case. Oh, no. I need to tell Luis what's happening. He needs to prepare himself mentally for this. Uh, isn't there anything else we can do? Yeah, we can find the real rapist and murderer. But if this person is as smart as I think they are, they're not going to show up while Luis is in custody. So Luis will look like he's to blame. You know, I don't want anyone else to be hurt. But I wish this attacker would strike again so it would show that Luis was being set up. That would help Luis, wouldn't it? 